The Central Indiana Chapter is headquartered in Indianapolis, Indiana. The Central Indiana Chapter of ATOS is one of the largest ATOS groups with over 150 members from 15 states and three countries. Our members are not only theater organists, but consist of organ restoration experts, church and school musical directors, and people that just love the sounds and music of the theater organ. We are not only interested in the heritage of this instrument, but in the possibilities that exist for new uses and interpretations by future generations of musicians. The Central Indiana Chapter currently supports seven organ installations across Indiana. The chapter continues to maintain the instruments at Manuel and Warren Central High Schools and has donated instruments to other venues such as the Hilbert Theater, home of the Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra. Monthly meetings showcase the best of local, regional, and chapter organists. Each meeting includes time for chapter business, a featured organist, open console for members, and time to catch up with other members and guests. Meetings are held at the fine restored organs in the area, as well as members' homes that are equipped with organs and other instruments. Each year, Central Indiana Chapter produces three concerts, Pops on Pipes, by the finest internationally recognized theater pipe organists for the Indianapolis community. These concerts have evolved into exciting multimedia events that include such activities as car shows and musical travelogues. Season tickets and advanced sale tickets are sold at a discount from the regular box office prices. The CIC member organists extend our favorite musical form to the community by providing prologue and intermission entertainment at performances for Footlight Theater shows on the 211 Page Wurlitzer in the Headback Community Theater. Two of our instruments are also installed at local high schools. Our members often support high school musical activities with our organs. This fall we will host an education day for students which will be led by organist Rob Richards. Even if our members are not able to attend the monthly meetings, members around the world are kept up to date by our outstanding monthly newsletter, Ciphers, which is available by mail or regular post. The future for the Central Indiana Chapter is bright with two active new organ installations. First is the Indiana Theater in Terre Haute, Indiana, where a 311 Wurlitzer formerly housed in the El Capitan Theater in San Francisco is planned. The second is the Strand Theater in Shelbyville, Indiana. Here a unique Louisville Unifone instrument is nearing readiness for installation. A third installation is under consideration at the Madam Walker Theater in downtown Indianapolis. This unique venue was built as a tribute to Madam C.J. Walker, a leading African-American businesswoman in Indianapolis in the 1920s. Central Indiana Chapter has an instrument in storage ideal for this unique venue. The Central Indiana Chapter of ATOS looks forward to welcoming you back home again in Indiana. The Free State Theater Organ Society presents their 2018 ATOS Showcase Review. Our chapter home is in the Rice Auditorium located on the campus of Spring Grove Hospital Center outside Baltimore, Maryland. The Free State Chapter of ATOS is sponsoring a concert series open and free to the public. Each year we present a holiday special event. This holiday special each year provides an afternoon of theater organ music as well as social event for all to meet others and to enjoy the celebration. Routinely each month, the Free State Chapter has a concert event, presently utilizing our virtual instrument and temporary three-manual console. Programs include movie as well as regular concert programs. 
In addition to musical programs, information of general interest to our members is provided, including monthly updates on our restoration project. Our plans for the future include transitioning to a four-manual console with 19 ranks of mostly Wurlitzer pipe organ components. The plans have been drawn for the installation to guide the whole process. A most necessary part of our future includes a complete rebuild of the components, including complete re-leathering. Naturally, many hours of volunteer efforts are necessary. As shown, it's a hands-on effort, including many hours of rewiring and, of course, pneumatic recovering. When complete, we look forward to many years of enjoyable theater organ music. As components are rebuilt, reassembly and installation is the next phase for each component. Utilizing the current virtual system, real components can become available as installation phases are completed. Our many volunteers meet most Tuesdays for a work session, with most programs held on Sunday afternoons. Should you wish to visit, please contact us via the Free State Theatre Organ Society website as shown, or just Google our chapter name. From Ironwood in Michigan's remote Upper Peninsula to the city of Saginaw in Michigan's industrial south, Great Lakes Bay Chapter keeps the music alive over a span of some 500 miles. Final phase in the rescue of a vintage 25 Barton from a near certain trip to the scrap heap. Now safely in storage, its destination is a classic 1915 theater in Escanaba. The chapter has now acquired all of the pipework needed to restore the organ to its original theater specification, including the unique Bartolina rank. One of three vintage theaters in Great Lakes Bay's area, the beautifully restored Crystal Theater in the former mining town of Crystal Falls in Michigan's scenic Upper Peninsula. Crystal Falls boasts a 321 molar and internationally acclaimed organist in residence, Dave Wickerham. Here are scenes from last year's Wine, Cheese, and Music bus tours. This summer's trips included Andrew Rogers' accompaniment of a silent movie on June 10th and upcoming Dave Wickerham in concert on July 22nd. Recalling its mining heyday, the upper Michigan town of Ironwood has fully restored its 1928 movie palace and its original 2-7 Barton organ. In Saginaw, the fully restored Temple Theater is where talented young organist Andrew Strauss Fausto recorded on our original 311 Barton in his bid for Young Organist of the Year in 2017. In Escanaba, the historic Delft Theater is now on the State of Michigan's Redevelopment Ready List and is the planned new home of the chapter's Baby Barton. The Mount Shasta chapter covers a large area of Northern California, from Oroville to the Oregon border. We probably have the smallest number of members per square mile of area. The big project this year has and continues to be the installation of the 216 Rolitzer Theater Pipe Organ in Oroville's historic State Theater, a 1928 vaudeville venue that originally had a small 26 Model D. The auditorium originally seated a little over 1,500 on a main floor and a single balcony, so the original organ was a bit small for the space, 
and the 316 is better suited for maximum effect. Currently, it seats 600 on the main floor. We began the 2017-2018 fiscal year with the repair of the original organ chamber, which had a large four-foot square duct, now abandoned, built right through the center of it. Roof leaks also led to damage of the chamber ceiling, so it was completely rebuilt. An empty store four doors south of the theater was offered at a greatly reduced rent for the project. Volunteers cleaned it out, moved organ parts in and began the restoration process. Although playing when removed, the storage years led to more repairs. Since the store is on Main Street, we had the window painted to tell folks what's going on inside. The organ restoration is a joint effort of the chapter and the nonprofit theater operator, State Theater Arts Guild. The first day that organ parts were actually placed in the rebuilt chamber. We think the original organ left in 1954, so this is a real milestone for the theater and us. The organ grills and other decorative grill work were mostly covered over in the late 1950s in a modernizing move. Fortunately, the grills were mostly left intact underneath, although we did have to cast some replacement detail pieces and repair the metal lath that forms the grill itself. Taken from the balcony tech booth, we can see the results of both grills uncovered. The grill work actually extends through the gold details to the ceiling, but this is as high on the wall that our budget will allow for now. The console has been in the lobby since 2007 as a display and interest generating piece. In this past year, it was joined by some wooden diaphones and informational texts. One of our additions to the organ is a 16-foot wooden diaphone, 18 notes. These are much too large to fit in the chambers, so they are going against the back wall of the stage house. Off-stage space is at a premium, so we have to mount them overhead. Metalworks, one of our benefactors, donated this 300-pound beam and brackets to support the pipes and chests. The week before the organ's debut, on the theater's 90th anniversary date, April 7, 2018, Dave Moreno makes some adjustments in the main chamber. While only eight ranks were ready for the debut, it is still larger than the original six-rank organ. Without the support of the community, this organ would not be in and playing. One of the fundraisers is Adopt a Pipe and this wall in the lobby has the tree of adopters mounted on it. Each adoption gets a leaf with their name on it. The area has been painted in what we believe is a close approximation of the original lobby decor. Finally, after all this time, the console is on its own platform and in the auditorium. This is where it normally sits, although for concerts and movies, it is rolled toward the center of the main floor. A photo of the debut night audience just after intermission. We are awaiting a fast fix on the organ before playing the second half of our silent movie feature. The console is just off frame to stage right. The night was a great success. All photos except this one were taken by David Dewey. This picture was taken by Oroville's mayor, Linda Dahlmeyer. That's Dave's back you're seeing, so he couldn't take the picture. The Susquehanna Valley Theatre Organ Society was established in 1993 by a group of pipe organ enthusiasts in central Pennsylvania to preserve and present theatre organ music. The chapter supports and maintains the three manual 20 rank Rolitzer Theatre Pipe Organ in the Capitol Theatre in York, which is part of the Appell Center for the Performing Arts.
Susquehanna Valley members support the theater by providing pre-movie music on the first Friday of the month and every Saturday. The regularly scheduled monthly chapter meetings often feature local and nationally known organists who entertain our members. The Capitol Theater sponsors a public silent film series accompanied by chapter member Don Kinnear at the Wurlitzer. In addition to our regularly scheduled monthly chapter meetings, Susquehanna Valley has open consoles, educational and social events, the chapter sponsors young members to attend the summer youth adventure, as well as bi-monthly member programs at a local retirement community and visits to home installations. The Capitol Theater is currently undergoing a five-month, $1.6 million renovation after which the Susquehanna Valley Chapter will continue to support the theater and its Wurlitzer. The Theater Organ Society of the Delaware Valley, affectionately known as TOSDV, was founded in 1955. We are the second oldest chapter of ATOS. The Delaware Valley Chapter currently has two active pipe organs, the 319 Molar Opus 5230, which is undergoing restoration and is located at the Keswick Theater in Glenside, Pennsylvania. TOSDV's second pipe organ is the 324 Wurlitzer Opus 585, located at the Colonial Theater in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. This organ was completed in 2012 as if they are ever completed. Our artists for the 2017-2018 season have been varied, mixing concerts with silent movies. The 2017-2018 calendar is full, including concerts, movies, and open consoles. Our world-renowned Theatre Organ 101 introduces members of the public to what a theatre organ is and lets them tickle the keys. The Theatre Organ Society of San Diego, a chapter of the American Theatre Organ Society, is based in San Diego, California. Our chapter successfully fulfills our mission through a variety of activities which will be highlighted in the next few minutes. Our 1927 4 manual 24 rank Wurlitzer Theater Pipe Organ is proudly and impeccably maintained by a team of highly skilled volunteer professional technicians and assistants. We showcase our Wurlitzer through the talent of outstanding performance artists and authentic accompaniment to classic silent films. We typically present a minimum of seven performances each year. Our members have the opportunity to enjoy the Wurlitzer experience during open consoles scheduled monthly. Our society socializes. Our annual ice cream social and open console program has become a popular event for sharing new flavors and our favorite music with each other.
We partner with other organ associations like AGO and Spreckles, as well as other organizations and music interests to advertise our events and build our audiences. We promote awareness and honor for the father of the theater organ, Robert Hope Jones. We adopted the Hope Jones March as our musical signature. Look on YouTube for our documentary on Hope Jones and enjoy the performance of the Hope Jones March. You can use the search words Hope Jones or T-O-S-S-D. San Diego is a beautiful destination to visit. We invite you to upgrade your enjoyment by including some time to see, hear, and play our mighty Wurlitzer. The Theater Organ Society of San Diego has never missed a beat since it was founded in 1974. Contacting us is easy and welcomed. The Western Reserve Theater Organ Society is based in Northeast Ohio. We strive to make use of the many organs and theaters in some residences. Dave Wickerham performed for an enthusiastic crowd at the Cleveland Gray's Armory Museum. We present two or three public concerts per year with professional artists at various theater venues. Young church organist Daniel Colliner has his first experience with a theater organ as Jared Goldinger and Jay Spencer offer advice on registration. House organist Jay Spencer plays the Canton Palace Kilgan. The Western Reserve chapter offers frequent socials open to members and their guests where all are welcome to take a turn at open console. Justin Stahl was engaged to perform at a special social at the Cleveland Masonic Auditorium. Use of our 428 Wurlitzer has been severely restricted since the Masons sold the auditorium in early 2017. The new owner intends to use the auditorium as a commercial concert venue. We await their decision on the future of our organ in their plans. We hope to return to presenting concerts and regular socials. The nearly original condition 315 Wurlitzer in Gray's Armory is showing its age. We intend to raise funds for a complete restoration. The Western Reserve Chapter has made repairs following original methods to keep the armory organ playing. For example, parts of the combination action were selectively re-leathered. Western Reserve members provide similar service to other area organs.